Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. The One for three. Number two. Jazz Chisholm Jr. Swing and a miss. Slider oh. right there. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Josh Spores appears to be getting ready for Bruce Bochy. Castillo also throwing. And that one fouled off. Owen oh 2 now. Swing and a drive deep right field. And that should be extra bases. Around third. See! Can you believe it? An inside the park grand slam. in the game, Josh Sports. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boo. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. And the batter down, Gio Langston. That one gets down for a hit. And that keeps the inning going. Wastes no time there. But the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second. Oh, and a great stop. Fires to first. And very nicely done for the out. Well, that right there was all three-pitch positioning. Put himself in the perfect spot to make a great play. Welcome back to the ballpark. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. Means back to work. He's been so sharp today. Even over 100 pitches thrown. His skipper is leaving him in there to finish the job. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. No ball. Two The line of the pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. And he'll two. Goes down looking. No, you know that's going to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but hold to stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Strike two. Uh, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Swings and misses. Struck him out. So they're down to their final out. Next is the designated hitter, Ezekiel Duran. Yep. First pitch swinging. No ball. Two no down, play. nobody on. Here in game three of this four-game series. Back to the mound. He's got it. And that'll do it. Increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. A 4 0 shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so.
With the tying run and scoring the position in the bottom of the ninth, here's the center fielder, Jazz Chisholm Jr. And fouled off. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. When you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their key. Rip, but it curls foul. This could end it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that ends the ball game. The tying run left stranded at second. Back in Seattle, we head to the bottom of the ninth. And now it's the cleanup hitter for the Mariners, Luke Riddick. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count, at times pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. Out. Tosses across the first. Awesome play there. He's now two outs it. away. Jorge Polanco Jorge. up next for the Mariners. Whoa, Breaking on. ball in there for a strike. Oh, The shortstop takes the ball. Seems like the hitters are struggling with their time today. Kind of caught in between that sharp fastball and the nasty slider. I'd like to see him settle on a consistent pitch. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. And they're down to their last out. Ty France up next for the Mariners. And that one fouled off. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. On the ground, and this should do it. On the first, ball game. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the... Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. 0 for three, 3 with two strikeouts Evan. and a flyout. Longoria. High fly ball down the left field line. That's back there. It's gone. Grand slam. He'll touch them all. Home run number five on the season, and they lead it. It's 6-4. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Just an unbelievable turn of events here. I mean, they've been putting together solid at bats all inning to set the table for him, and he delivered big. So a new pitcher out of the bullpen for the Astros, Rafael Montero. Pretty tight game, so they're looking now, for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Base hit, and that turns the lineup over. 
Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. John Birdie at the plate. And there's the strike. All ones the count. Into center and a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. The throw in, in there safely. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat, just kind of muscled it out there. And you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher, but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. Jonathan Indy at the plate, 0 for 4, a couple of flyouts. He's also grounded out and struck out. And that is cut on and missed. That's and strike one. one. Kind of goes without saying, but straight on these two runners in scoring position right here, it feels like it's a month. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. At the belt and finals. Foul ball still 0-2. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss, and that is that. And now it's Alex Bregman. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. First pitch, not close. With the runner at third, this is who they want at the plate. He's so good at getting a run across in these situations. This one in the dirt. Tag safe at second. And good hustle to move up. That's a wild pitch. Big spot, two outs. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. Here at the bottom of the seventh. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. That clips the corner. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. Swing and a miss struck him out. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. This team is laser focused right now. They knew coming into this series they were going to have to execute, come up with the big hits and the timely hits, as well as pitch and pitch effectively. They've done all of that. They've won the first three games of this series. One more to seal it and have a very successful road series. And a final. One down. Now, now it's the second baseman, the second Zach baseman. Gellar. Zach. He's 0 for 1. Gellar. To third. Base hit. One run is in. Here comes the throw. And he's hey. safe. So it's first and third with one down. Well, he was a little off balance. He got the front foot down, but was so great at keeping the hands back. 
and allowed him still to get good wood. The Astros turn to a new arm of the mound, J.P. France. Now, Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Two on, one out. Runner on the goal. Throw to second, and he's safe. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed it. Out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the, the pitcher to bear down, make two. the pitch, get the ground Jazz ball. Excellent Chisholm piece of work. Junior. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Bit of strategy here. They issue the intentional walk, and that'll set up a force play at any base. And now, Tyler Soderstrom. And that one fouled off. Swung on, belted. McCormick on the run. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. As two runs score on the play. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. You don't want to get greedy, but it's easy to imagine all three runners coming home to score with this type of contact. Yeah, the automatic double costs them a run, but they're still in a position to keep scoring. in and it hits the fence the run comes in from second and the lead is up to five everything came together for him he absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here man just a really strong balanced swing and a fraction of an inch different. well plays made there and that retires the side with this sixth win in a row all of a sudden you start to look around
Good evening to those joining us for this live look in on the show. I'm John Chambi alongside Chris Singleton. You're just in time. John Means back out to start the eighth with a shutout in the works. Hampson stands in now and watches strike one. Well, these Royals looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a...
big hit in those situations. The pitch. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. 2 2 on the way. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And there's another strikeout, and those are just continuing to pile off. His confidence level has got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment, Booth, get back on track. His team needs him. With that, a good one down, takes a strike. One out, runners at first and second. Well, certainly doing his very best out there on the mound to bring that win streak to a halt. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Strike two. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Royals strand a pair. Still 8-0. Back here in Kansas City, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And to the plate for Kansas City, Vinny Pasquantino. We'll see you when. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead. At times, pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. On the ground to third. Fires across the diamond. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Renfro now at the plate as he swings through strike one. That one finds the zone. And it's 0-2. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. This is something about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Last chance for the Royals. And now it's Kyle Isbell. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. One and one. Just oh. missed. Two and one. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Two and two means now. is just one strike away. Just oh. missed. Well, that turns out to be a really good take right there, four. but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. This one high in the air to left center. The Rosarena after it. And that'll do it. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess. John Shambi alongside Chris no Singleton. We'd like to welcome those just tuning in on the show for a live look in. You're right on time. Cedric Mullen hitless so far in this one. So his 10 game hit streak is on the line. And that one wrapped foul. First and second, two down. Here the bottom of the seventh. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing at two. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen. Jake Bird up and loosening in the pen. Beaks getting loose as well. 
Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. This one in the air right field under this one. He's got it, and that will end the inning. And your final, 4-2. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. He's been a great free agent side. Hard hit left side. Sends it to first. Inning over. That's a. And we're back. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. The pitch. That misses the zone. One and oh. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. One ball, one break. That one finds the zone. And a count. One and two. The punch out there. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Here's Chris Bryant now. Headed down the line. And that lands in no man's land. A foul ball. Swing and a miss. 0 oh and 2. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. A Rosarena makes the catch for the out. Two down. Shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Justin Lawrence. I think closer has to be now, one of the toughest good. jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. He falls in, and that's a hit. Got a big swing of the bat right there. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer, and he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Next to hit, Miguel Vargas. Fall off foul. One run game, bottom nine. On the ground. There's one on the run. Throw to first. And it beats him. What a play. And here is Cedric Mullins. 0 for 4 with three ground outs and a flyer. Tying run is on base here at the bottom of the ninth. Been a rough one for him so far at the plate, but that'll help. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove. Rudder takes off. Hopped up. Rogers settles underneath it. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Rockies strand the tying run on base to win it. This is a huge win to take this series on the road before heading back home. You go home feeling good about yourselves. You've got some good momentum. But at home, we also have a
And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's Sacramento taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. John Shambi and Chris Singleton with you. And seeing you the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Isak Paredes. We go to the and bottom of the first. For the now up for Tampa Bay, right Josh here. Lowe. And here it comes. Whoa. And that's in for a strike. Granke, a former Cy Young Award winner, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, a sinker, and he occasionally uses a curve. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And down on strikes. And that's the first out. Well, you can tell he wasn't expecting that ball to break back in on him. He may have been looking for something away, maybe something soft, but that slider on the inside corner, absolutely frozen. Ahmed Rosario. Now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Swings through that one for strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Not even close there. And that's ball one. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's the second out. Well, there appears to be no problem settling in on the mound out there today. It looks pretty tough to start this one, punching out the first two hitters of this ball game. And somebody's going to have to put the bat on the ball, put it in play, and get something going. Out to short, Arias. Over to first. Three up, three down, inning over. Rays held in check here, scoreless after one. Back now in Tampa Bay. Here's the third baseman, Isak Paredes. Hammers that one, deep left field, and forget it. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, You'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Lau at the plate. 
Ball one there. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. Next one misses and now three balls and a strike. Swings through that one out in front that time. Three and two now. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Outside and that is ball four. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done that. Good eye in that spot. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. One run across in the frame so far. The Rays leading on the solo homer. Swing and a pop up. Fair ball. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. And now it's Jose Siri. And a foul ball. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, Boog, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. Not in time. He's safe. It's 2 nothing. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Two on, one out. Up the middle and he knocks it down. Safe at first as they can't make the play. So the batting order turns over. Here's the Rays leadoff hitter, Josh Lowe. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. There's the strike. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. The Rays trying to break this one open. Bottom half of inning number two. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Here's a 2-2. On the ground, right side. And that one finds its way through. Here's the throw to the plate. It's offline. The run comes in. And it's 4 nothing. Runners on the corners with one gone. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Ahmed Rosario. That clips the zone. 0-1. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning. And this is where you want to just max out. And that one popped to short. Arias under it. Puts it away for the out. That's out number two. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. India over to first in time. In their Back here at Tropicana Field. Now the third baseman, Isaac Paredes. There's a strike. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Right hander kicks deals. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. And now it's Brandon Lau. That one's in there. Going one. Way out front for strike two. No ball, two strikes. Oh, and two now. 
Good eye right there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a pitch. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Two outs, bases now empty. And go. now, Jake Fraley. One for one with a single oh, and a run scored so far. Right through there for a strike. Hey, we got two. Two down. That one down the line, and that's just foul. The pitch. Got it by him for the K. Nothing doing. Ready to go. Bottom four. And now the center fielder, Jose Siri. The line to kick the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Well, these Rays doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Pitch count is pretty high, and they've played it four runs already. So I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out pretty well right now. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Pinto at the plate and takes high there. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. In the air, right field, Mullins. Sizing this one up, hauls it in for the out. And there's two away. And stepping in for the Rays, Junior Caminero. Ball Just one. missed. Ball one, no strike. Down, down, here we go. Next offering is in for a strike. A little out front there as he swings through it. One ball, two strikes. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now up for Tampa Bay, Josh Lowe. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Lowe measures six feet, four inches. 205 pounds and he's been on a good run at the plate hitting over 300 in his last 10 games throw over to Longoria and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth and now it's Ahmed Rosario and the first pitch misses for ball one back to right and that'll fall for a base hit so a man aboard now with one away. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. They bring a young arm out of the bullpen in this. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence.
Good evening to those joining us for this live look in on the show. I'm John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. You're just in time. Brandon Bell, a couple of homers so far today. Maybe we'll see number three here. Swing and a ground ball off the door. That's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. His first save of the season is in the books, and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's
John Shambi alongside Chris now Singleton. Back. We'd like to welcome those just tuning in on the show for a live look in. You're right on time. Randy or Rosarena. A single, a double, and a home run already in this one. Looking for the toughest part of the cycle, the triple. Tosses to first. They get the out on a Rosarena. And your final, 12 to Good evening to those joining us for this live look in on the show. I'm John Chambi alongside Chris Singleton. You're just in time. Dustin May still on the mound to start this ninth inning. We'll see if he can wrap this one up and complete the shutout. And he'll two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down. I got this. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. And that is cut on and missed. It's 0-1. Oh, oh, One out, base is empty. Hey, get him yourself right here. Let's go. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Up next to the hockey. Last chance for the Padres. Luis Campusano, the next up for the Padres. Swing and a foul straight back. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count, at times pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. The Padres down to their final strike. Just misses with that one. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. It's just something about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. Three, two. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because.
John Chambi alongside Chris Singleton. We'd like to welcome those just tuning in on the show for a live look in. You're right on time. Brandon Bell, couple of homers so far today. Maybe we'll see number three here. There's a swing and a drive. Back there. And out of here. And he's gone yard again. That's his third home run of the game. And they add to their lead. It's 17 to 1. Chris, he's homered in back to back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous. Terrific job in this game. He scattered two hits and pretty dominant. One down. Here's the second baseman, Jonathan India. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. Ground ball right side. Base hit! One run team. Low around third on his way to the plate. Now the second run is in. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Carlos Hernandez comes on now. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Now here is Gio Langston. Line drive, and that's base hit out of the center field. Tag got him. And he can't scramble back in time. Way too much of a turnaround first there. Up to the plate is Brandon Belt. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. And we're back. New inning getting started. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Arias. Genesis Cabrera taking the mound. He comes in with a chance for his second save of the season. Swing and a miss, strike one. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. In the dirt, now one and two. Ground ball up the middle, Arias. Throws the first, and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. And a foul ball. Swings and misses at the pitch on the plate. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get out. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Pitch is in for a strike, and it's 0-2. And the Royals down to their final strike. And that is the ball game. Won the final here today. Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Sh
John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. Hey, Chris, We'd like to welcome those just tuning in on the show for a live look in. You're right on time. Oh, Dustin down. May still on the mound to start this ninth inning. We'll see if he can wrap this one up and complete the shutout. The pitch. That one misses. One and two to count. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count. At times, pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. Righty delivers. Fights it off. He'll see another. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. It's just something about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. The rise in the box now. No balls and a strike. This to third. McMahon gathers and throws the first. Two up, two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Perez at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. Off the mark there. And that's ball one. That one at the knees for a strike. May is just one strike away. That one just misses. That's the ball game. Eight nothing is how this one ends. The first single ten in our entire. This is Joey Bart. He's a now that the catch. <laughs> That's out to center field. Makes the grab. And there's one away. He's two outs away. And here is C.J. Crone. He's already homered in this game. Roll the short, possible two ball. There's one, and that's a double play to end it. Close one here today, and your final five. So two down, and here comes Carlos Correa. Swing and a miss. Come on. And it's a one one. Well, that's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of break. So tough to get that barrel to. Walner at third. Larner over at second. Marco at first. Two out of the inning. Next pitch misses inside. One ball. Ball one. Two outs. And that's in the dirt. Two and two. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem cold. Strike three. Got him swinging. Huge strike. The total team effort using six pitchers in this ball game to get the win. Outstanding job of passing.
This is Corbin Carroll. The right fielder, number seven, Corbin Carroll. Ball one, no strikes. Pretty smart not to serve something up for him right there. He's really good at hitting the first pitch. And yeah, there's a the ball. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. Two and one. Two outs. And fouled off. That okay. one missed. Hit, connect 
touchdown. The curveball struck him out. Diamondbacks leave him loaded. Score remains deadlocked at one. One down. Now it's the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Geraldo Perdomo. On the ground, right side. On to Peterson, and he's out. Two outs, runner at first. Next to hit, Geraldo Perdomo. And a little something extra at stake in this at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. Now a fly ball to right center. He's got it. Ball game. And the Diamondbacks take this one in a blowout. Good evening to those joining us for this live look in on the show. I'm John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. You're just in time. Ryan McMahon, a single, a double, and a home run already in this one. Looking for the toughest part of the cycle, the triple. Strike two. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Robert Stevenson, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Garcia also throwing. He'll do it himself. One up, one down. Now back. And your final, 10 to 5. At the play, Mickey Moniak. Close, but call the ball. And that is ball one. Right through there for a strike. That misses, and it's two and one. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Base is loaded. Two down. Late that time, it's strike two. Oh, you just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up at that. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Angels threaten. four wins in a row you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own players start hitting up and down the lineup you never know who's going to come up with the big hit who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs but it's a good feeling and you want to extend it final score of eight to six in this one for chris singleton and our entire crew here at mlb the show thanks for stopping by i'm john chomby talk to you soon First for your victorious home team, eight runs on eight hits. Two errors, they left seven runners on base. For the Angels, six runs on 13 hits. One error, they left 15 runners on base.
Now the number two hitter, Pete Crow Armstrong. Third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack ball. Now a move being made at second base. Coming in as the pinch runner, John Birdie. He's a potential winning run, so they're hoping he can score a base hit. Double steal. And that one fouled off. Edges away at second. Both runners go again. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Double steal again. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Here's the 0-2. Both runners go again. Up the middle. They get one. The tag, and he's out of the play. And that's a double play. back to the ballpark we're in extras here now it's going to be Jordan Westberg that's a little bit low swing and a miss as he was out front that time that's down and in Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Got it! Really had to move for that grab. One away. Colton Kowser will hit next. And the nope. first pitch misses for ball one. Top of the zone for a called strike. Well, we we'll call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. The pitch. And the one-two misses to even the count. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two out. Nice work there to get the strike out, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this whole crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. Swings and misses. Olatina. He's falling behind in a huge spot. In the air, right field. Base hit into the outfield. Here comes the throw. It's offline, and he scores. They've got the lead 6-5. Only gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield. Jason Adam on the pitch here. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. McCann leads off first with two down to the inning. That's in there. And it's a one two. Wow, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, He's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's tightened up. Welcome back, and here comes the close. Three, four, five, due up for the home team. Now it's Randy Arosarena. And a pitch. He's trying for third. And fouled off. So the tying run is second. Runner on the go again. In the air to left center. Brings it in. Well behind the runner. And they've got him doubled off. Well, we assume it, but not all double plays are 6 4 threes or something like that. Right there, it's just sort of a combination of good defense and poor base running, and probably more of the latter. That's a big turn of events in this inning, though. Mm -hmm. 
Two down, nobody on. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Bautista is just one strike away. Line drive, base hit. That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. And that one fouled off. Tying run at first, the winning run at the plate. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Right. And missed. Goes safe. He goes for that one. The perfect ball probably gets him. That throws just a little wide to the third base side of the bag, so he had to reach a little bit to get it. Could have been just enough to make the difference there. And he deals. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Right into the plate. Swing and that ball smashed on the line. here today. <laughs> one run game here today. Your final score, seven to six. A one run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Struck him out looking. Only one out left for the Red Sox. And here is Devers. And the first no, pitch misses for ball one. They call this batter a gamer because he always seems to perform better when it matters Doing most. Up. Who doesn't want a guy like that on your team? Good hitters count the 2-0. That's the ball. 3 and oh. And a four-pitch oh, run. Well, that's a pretty significant two-out run as it moves the time run up into scoring position. Uh -huh. It's definitely not what you're looking at. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. When you get into some hot water, a jam, yeah. tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is One, where they two. earn their key. The Red Sox down to their final strike. Swings and misses, struck him out. The tying and go-ahead runs are left aboard as this...
And now the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. Geraldo Perdomo. Line drive. Could be extra bases. Longori on his way around third. One runs in. The relay to the plate. He will score, and they take the lead. It's 4-3. to three. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Matt Strong. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Held. Now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Swing and a miss. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Jose Alvarado getting loose out there. Nelson, a right hander, loosening up as well. Kicks and fires. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two down. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. McMahon, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Here's the pitch. Runner breaks for third. And that one fouled off. Owen oh, Chu now. Runner goes again. Out there to center. Nabs it, and that is that. Another solid outing from him out of the bullpen. He's up to double digits now with his 10th save of the So two down, and here is Sosa to the plate. Swing and a miss. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. And that's a little bit high. Man, oh, man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. This is Bryson Stock. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. One down, Phillies down a run. In the air, left side. A Rosarena moving under it. Squeezes it. Runner tags for home. To the plate. Save! And we are tied. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Harper up to bat next. Lays off the ball. And that is in for a strike. And a count even at one. And downstairs. Comes up empty. That's strike two. That pitch started in and ended up on the... Turner runs. Pitch inside. Low throw, and he can't dig it out. Safe in second, and that was not close. Well, it really doesn't matter what the situation is. When a guy like this gets on first, you know he's going to steal second at some point during the at-bat. Nice job to get in the scoring position. The defense probably knew it was coming, but they just couldn't do anything to stop it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and that'll keep more runs from coming. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit.
Thank mm -hmm. you. 